good to see you on this hot August day. And it's great to see the girls here. We look forward to hearing from you all. I'm Jennifer Kearns, and this is the Waters District Council. We have a website, and I hope that you will take advantage and look at it. It's watersdistrictcouncil.org. We've got a lot of stories in there. We've got some Girl Scout pictures in there. So just um, take a look at it when you get a chance. Okay, let's see. We're going to have a few announcements. Um, our next program will be October 10th, and Lee Cavlin is going to talk about her book, um, Here's My Heart. It's based on letters that her father wrote her mother during World War II. I've read the book, and I think it's excellent. And he was at the Battle of the Bulge, and he was very descriptive about his experience there. So I hope that everybody will come October 10th, and I think that's Columbus Day, but we still have the cabin here. It's never a problem. So I hope to see you October 10th. I'm looking for anyone who would be willing to serve in any capacity with this organization. Um, the nominating committee will be forming, and if you know of anybody who would be a good leader, a good person in this community, let one of us on the board know, and we'll uh, pass that on to the nominating committee. Okay, we're going to have um, the pledge and then the prayer. So everybody stand. Here's the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you bow your head? Our Heavenly Father, maker of all things good, we praise you and ask your guidance for our leaders, our country, our state, our county, and our community. Our history is precious. Thank you for all those that are here tonight. Be with our Girl Scouts as they tell their story. Amen. Okay, and we'll have the minutes read from Barbara. Um, where are you? Okay. Would you like to stand up here or just stand there? And this is from the last meeting of uh, uh, April 11th. Right. The meeting was called to order by the President Jennifer Kearns, who also gave the invocation. The pledge to the flag was led by Boy Scouts Andrew and Brandon Welsh. The minutes of the last meeting were read by the Secretary and approved as read. The President introduced Marshall Planks, Minister of Music at Enoch Baptist Church, gave a program on the history of Enoch Baptist Church. The church was established August 20th, 1841. It will have its 175th by year homecoming this summer. Many of the descendants of Enoch's first members are still active in the church. Announcements were made regarding the Memorial Day program on the 30th of May. It will be held at Cabin flagpole. All were encouraged to attend. The need for a nominating committee to replace trustees and officers who have ended their terms was announced. A presentation was made by Jack Dickey, chairman of the Memorial Day Committee, in recognition and appreciation of Bucky Jones, 20 years as chairman of the annual Memorial Day celebration. Max McAdams. The next meeting will be August the 8th with the program given by the Shannon Girl Scout Troop. The meeting was adjourned by President Kearns and refreshments were served. I respectfully submitted Barbara Ramsey Secretary. Thank you, Barbara. I would like to ask that the minutes be approved as read. Do I hear a second? Those are approved. Thank you. All right. I would. Yes. The homecoming for Amen will be the 21st of 
part of Zion. Okay. Kingdom Baptist Church Homecoming will be the 21st of August, which will be not this Sunday, but the next one. Jennifer, it starts at 10, the service will start at 10 o'clock. There will be no Sunday school. Right. Service okay. will start at 10 o'clock. Okay, and it starts at 10 o'clock.
Girl's Tale history. Juliet Gordon Grove found the Girl Scouts in 1912. In the 1920s, Girl Scouting <coughs> continued to expand its reach for more and more girls with the first Girl Scout troop launching outside the United States, in China, Syria, and Mexico. In the 1930s, when the United States consumed by the Great Depression, Girl Scouts participated in relief efforts by collecting clothing and for those in need. In the 1940s, during World War II, Girl Scouts inter interested in flying participating in the Wayne Girl Scouts program. In the 1950s, Girl Scouts responded to the Korean War by assembling kits for Korea, pouches of items needed by Korean citizens. In the 1960s, Girl Scouts held speak out conferences around the country to lend their voices to the fight for racial equality. In the 1970s, during this period, Girl Scouts elected its first African American National Board President, Gloria D. Scott, stood up for environmental issues by launching the National Eco Action Program and held the Vietnam Vietnamese ref refugee children adapt to their new homes in America. In the 1980s, Girl Scouts established the Daisy Level for Kindergarten age. Girl, each girls as interested in the Girl Scout expanded. In the 1990s, during the explosion growth of personal computers, Girl Scouts introduced the technology badge for Girl Scout juniors while also tackling illiteracy with the right to read service projects. In the 2000s, girls entered the first decade of the new millennium focus on the healthy development of girls. Elected the first Hispanic as chair of the National Board, Patricia Diaz Dennis. Today, even as technology plays a larger and larger role in Americans' lives, Girl Scouts also stay connected to nature and the great outdoors. In 2014, Girl Scouts launched digital cooking through which Girl Scouts cookies were sold online by girls for the first time in the history of iconic cookie book.
industries and technologies like computer expert and coding badge. My favorite badge is computers because I like technology. My name is Alex and I'm a cadet. Girl Scout cookies started in the kitchens and ovens of Girl Scout members. Early troops were able to sell cookies to finance troop activities as early as 1917. Cookies sold from 25 cents to 50 cents until 1968. Throughout the decade, girls continued to bake their own cookies. They were packaged in wax paper bags and sealed with a sticker and sold door to door for 25 to 35 cents. In 1930, Girl Scout Federation of Greater New York raised money through the sale of commercially baked cookies. They bought a mold in the shape of a tree foil and produced Girl Scout cookie boxes and started selling nationwide. 1940s. Cookies were sold by local councils around the country until World War II, when sugar, flour, and butter were scarce. Girl Scouts switched to selling calendars as an alternative to raise money until the, the war was over. 1950s and 60s. Girl Scouts started making three varieties of cookies, shortbread, sandwich, and chocolate mint. In 1960, 14 licensed bakers were mixing batter. They began wrapping Girl Scout cookie boxes for freshness. 1970 to 1980. Girl Scouts continue to sell cookies now with uniform boxes and Girl Scout logos. Cookie prices went to $1 and slowly began to rise. Today, the Girl Scout program has um, digital. Girls can now create online cookie stores for their customers. Cookie prices are now four dollars a box.
her family got rid of them when she moved in the nursing home. I enjoyed the time I spent with Miss Bear, hearing about her days at Model and at the Girl Scout hut.